Welcome to Picture Book Drama, where it is everything in entertainment. I am your host, Sean, your video and comic guru. Welcome to a very special short film that I just came across. This just came out. This is by Jeff Cassidy. This stars Josh Dallas from Once Upon a Time, Emily Beck Rickards from Arrow, and Tom Cavanaugh from The Flash. I do want to give a shout out to, and I want to make sure I get his name right, Christian Michael Cooper, who is from Prison Break. He plays Josh and Emily's son in this film. This is only about 12 minutes long, but it is perfect in my opinion. So without any further ado, here is Sidekicks. Peace, dude. I told you a million times, I hate peas. Oh, I, don't, I don't like them either, but your mother keeps making them. parents were fighting, so his dad had to leave. Your mom and I aren't fighting. We're just going through a tough time. Hey, look at me. Look at me. You two are my whole world, okay? It's important you know that. You can leave, I know it. If you keep it up, you're not gonna hear tonight's story. I don't care. Oh, really? You don't care? Because you should. Because this one's different. In fact, it just may be the greatest story of all time. The hero's name is Captain Strong. And his nemesis, Darkman. The two have been enemies since the beginning of time. Darkman was an unstoppable evil. Nah, I don't want to hear this story. What? What are you talking about? I don't like lightning. I know it's for kids. Me, you don't like lightning. This is our thing. Superheroes, bad guys, explosions, and there's robots. I hate robots. You love robots. I know they're not real. <sighs> you know what? You're right. I should have brought it up. It's time for bed. You're just trying to trick me. Do you want to hear the story or not? All right, where was I? Robot. Right, Darkman's assassination droid. <laughs> the deadliest of them all. But it was no match for Captain Strong, because Strong lived for more than punching and fighting, you see. This is actually a love story. Wait, what? Disgusting. I don't want to hear a love story. What happened to the assassination droid? Oh, so now you like robots. She was his princess. 
Well, not a real princess, but that's what he called her because she was his favorite. For years, Darkman used the princess as bait to catch Captain Strong. Time after time, the captain was beaten down. But he always got back up and somehow prevailed. Saving the princess as Darkman slipped away into the darkness. All your stories are the same. The hero always wins because he's the hero. Actually, not this time. You see, years and years went by. And Captain Strong and the princess, they fell further and further in love. And there was peace and happiness. And everything seemed to be as it should. But all the time Darkman was waiting, he was crafting his sinister plot to catch Captain Strong and finish him once and for all. So on a night when he least expected it, Captain Strong met Darkman for what would become battle to end all battles. That night was different. Somebody! You could sense it in the air. Strong could feel the doubt inside. His chest ached from battle, heart pounding, the sweat dripping from his brow. Most would have given up already, but not Strong. Giving up never entered his mind. Save me. And he always would. He knew from the day he met her that the love they shared was so strong, nothing could ever come between them. I will never let you go. Forever and ever, I will protect you and keep you safe. No! <laughs> That's your life! Slipping away. That's the poison. Coursing through your veins. And there's nothing you can do about it. Or you could defeat me. You thought you were a match for me. You were never a match for me! And now, with your final breath, I want your last thought to be of all the things. All the horrible, horrible things I'm going to do to your precious little. Princess. The princess knew that no matter how hard she fought, she was helpless against Darkman's power. Darkman can't win. Captain Strong has to fight back. No, oh, that's the point, buddy. You see, sometimes, no matter how hard we fight, we can't stop what the world has in store for us. But that can be it. You said it's a love story. You said he never give up. Dad? Dad? Yeah, you're right, buddy. Sometimes bad things happen. We just have to be prepared. See, the whole time Dark Man was developing his evil poison, Captain Strong was working on a secret of his own. A cure? No, 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 no. Something much bigger. Small and agile, 
and able to channel electrostatic energy. They call me Shockwave. Don't worry. I'm here to help. Shockwave wasn't finished. He had one more trick up his sleeve. He summoned all the strength he had left. Whining, old man. You'll be fine. <laughs> Not this time, friend. But the poison. It's too late. No. <sighs> Take care of her. Promise me. But he's a hero. You can't just let him die. Well, that's because in that moment, he knew that this was the way it had to be. That Shockwave was his sidekick, his most trusted friend. And it was his turn to protect the princess. But he's so tiny. Oh, he may be tiny. He may not be ready yet, but one day he will be. He will be big enough. He will be strong enough. Strong enough to become the hero he was always destined to be. I'll keep you safe now. I promise. But Dad... You know, even the strongest people cry sometimes. I will never let you go.
So what did you guys think? Pretty good, huh? Short, sweet, to the point. That's what a lot of these movies nowadays are missing. And that's not just comic book movies, that's movies in general. They add way too much exposition, but this gave you everything you really needed to know. So let me know what you guys think. Hit me in that comment section below. Please hit that subscribe button. But you can also find me on all these media sites right here. But until next time, I am Sean, your video and comic guru. I'll see you next time. Peace.